wind powers bl the blades that are connected to a rotor, which is on the shaft. As the wind spins the blade, it moves causing the rotor to spin. The gearbox will increase the RPM dramatically so the generator can produce electricity. This electricity travels down the tower and underground to a substation. Here, a step-up transformer increases the electrical output. Next, the output is sent to the electrical grid in that community. The great thing about these wind turbines is that even small turbine farms can generate enough energy to power 9,000 homes. As early as the year 5000 BC, wind was being harnessed for energy. Wind energy propelled boats along the Nile River with the use of sails. This technology spread to China and the Middle East soon after to improve food production. The Dutch also used windmills to help drain lakes and marshes and also for food production. By 2030, if 20% of our power comes from wind, natural gas prices will be reduced by 12%. 75% of Iowa is suitable for wind energy development. 2,893 utility-scale turbines are in use in Iowa. Wind energy industry employs around 7,000 wind-related jobs in Iowa. In 2012, Iowa produced 25% of all electricity in the state by wind, making it the only state in the nation to surpass 20% wind energy. Recently, the Facebook Corporation announced that their new data center in Altoona, Iowa will be partially powered by wind energy. Oklahoma City has made strides in implementing wind energy in the urban setting. City leaders explain what they've been up to. The world's largest rooftop wind farm has been installed in Oklahoma City to take advantage of higher airflows around buildings. Traditional wind turbines need wind to generate electricity. Vertical axis omnidirectional wind turbines can also generate electricity using ventilation between buildings. Vertical axis turbines can generate electricity day and night and are expected to produce 85,500 kilowatt hours of electricity per year, enough to power seven average-sized American homes. You see this bird, and you say, whoa, that guy is not in a good place right now. And he isn't. Although only general estimates are available, the number of birds killed in wind development is substantially lower relative to estimated annual bird casualty rates from a variety of other factors, including vehicles, buildings and windows, power lines, communication towers, toxic chemicals, including pesticides, and domestic cats. So, many manufacturers and scientists and engineers are coming up with new ways to prevent these accidents from happening. Um, they are trying to paint the uh, colors of the blades a different color so maybe they're more easier to see and easier to avoid. Wind turbines produce no carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen, nitrogen dioxide, and any other type of air pollution unlike fossil fuel sources and nuclear power plant production. Um, some carbon dioxide is released during like manufacturing and maintenance of these wind turbines, um, but them themselves don't emit any carbon dioxide or other greenhouse gases while they are producing this electricity. This means users of wind energy have smaller carbon footprints than other energy sources. Like all mechanical systems, 
wind turbines produce some noise when they operate. Most of it is masked by the sound of the wind itself, um, but many people have complained. In recent years, engineers have made design changes to reduce the noise from these wind turbines. And the earlier turbines are generally noisier than the newer, larger models. Wind power creates economic development in the form of new jobs, new industry, new revenue through electricity sales, and associated growth and spending. It also helps diversify and revitalize rural economies. Wind power has added 35% of all new generating capacity to the U.S. grid since 2007, twice what coal and nuclear added combined. When you pay for electricity, you are paying for many things. The cost to build and operate the power plant, the cost of maintaining the electrical grid, and so on. When electricity is produced using fossil or nuclear fuels, the single biggest cost built into your electricity bill is the cost of the fuel needed to run the power plant. For most of us, that fuel came from another state or even another country. Wind energy is different, however. The wind is free, so there's no need to purchase fuel. At the same time, wind parks create more local economic development than any other type of electrical generation. What this means is that as more of the electricity in your local mix is produced from wind energy, less of your money is leaving your area. Instead, it's recirculating into your local economy. Wind energy is a resource that rural communities can harness for export to urban areas, helping to balance out disparities in economic development between the two regions. A popular sized machine in the U.S. today is a state-of-the-art turbine that stands as tall as a 30-story building and costs roughly two million to five million dollars to install. With good wind resources, this size of turbine can produce 5 million kilowatts of electricity each year, or enough energy to run 500 average American homes. The economic rewards of owning or leasing a turbine operation fall into three categories. One, the electricity you don't have to pay for because you're producing it yourself. Revenue you receive for the energy you produce. And three, tax savings and federal and state incentives. Financial incentives are found in the form of wind energy equipment sales tax, which exempts 100% of the tax. The property tax in Iowa is affected once the property is assessed. According to Windistry.org, wind energy is the cheapest form of new electricity generation available today. Wind power is more expensive than power from old established power plants, but it is cost competitive with any new power plant. Wind energy is the best alternative energy option available to us today. Our other competitors just don't meet up to what wind energy can do. Nuclear energy, for example, uh, produces radioactive waste which takes thousands of years of careful safety watching to make sure it doesn't spill into like waterways and, put, and uh, this radioactive material can be harmful to plants, animals, and uh, humans. Our, um, another one is solar energy. Now the sun does power our world and everything that we do, yet it's only out for a certain limited number okay. of hours per day. So as you can see to <laughs> as you can see as you can see outside uh, there are men you can you are always having wind no matter what if uh, through the entire yeah. day cycle so we think that wind is the best option when you are uh, it's not limitless yeah well sun I mean, is, it is. your sun power is limited in a certain area biomass is negative uh, effects and consequences outweigh its positives because it is using uh, land and resources that we need to help feed our population for fuel <laughs> that we could be getting from other sources that are free, aka our wind, wind energy. energy. Hydropower um, 
is renewable. It's just like wind, but you can't put it everywhere. Uh, there isn't waterways everywhere. And when you put it on a river and dam up the river, it disrupts the natural flow of the river, resulting in disrupted ecosystems and fish life and all that. So personally, I think wind is better. Geothermal is another uh, alternative energy that has negative effects to it. The minimum temperature that there must be for uh, geothermal to be efficient is 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty high. So it's pretty unsafe to be working with these temperatures. So the caution that goes into working with this is a negative effect of geothermal. Wind energy. We think wind energy is the best alternative uh, energy source because it doesn't emit any CO2, which means there's no greenhouse uh, gases being released into the atmosphere causing our Earth to heat up. That's not happening when you use wind energy. And um, it's also limitless, so the wind is always blowing and it's also blowing 24-7 unlike solar power uh, energy. Yeah. And uh, it's also, yeah, it's one of the limitless, yeah, I'm gonna cut that. Anyways, mm -hmm. and also uh, with the new technology that we have come up with, um, wind energy can be used in urban and rural settings. So you can put them on top of buildings, but you can also put them out in the farm. So we think that overall wind energy is the healthiest, most sustainable, and most reliable alternative energy source presented to you today. Vote wind. <laughs>